What were they driven by? Uh, what are they driven by? This is a good question. I mean, some of them are interested in money. Some of them are interested in power. Some of them love the guns. You know, they're having a wonderful time during the jihad. This is an important aspect of the jihad that we don't really understand or appreciate in the West. But uh, they all have guns. They have uh, the keys to these cool pickup trucks. They have um, free food. They can uh, summon people off the street and begin to, you know, they, they imprison people. They're constructing a, a, a real prison archipelago over there for their prisoners and for anyone they really don't like. So, um, yeah, they, an incredible access of power to many young men who have had none over, um, you know, for, for most of their lives. So this is a, it's a dangerous scenario that's unfolding over there in those parts of Syria that the government does not control. Huh. What's your view of the Assad regime, whom they are fighting? I mean, the Assad regime right now, it is, there are approximately 16 million people there who are living in safety. The schools function, the universities function, the hospitals function. I mean, there's traffic police in the streets. Listen, it's not Switzerland. It's not a perfect society. I think they themselves recognize this. But uh, anybody who wants peace in Syria um, will acknowledge and respect the peace that they have at the moment and not try to, uh, not try to degrade it or damage it somehow, which, which uh, the Obama administration was doing by sending missiles and all kinds of weaponry to the rebels, which I thought was, you know, it was disgraceful because it, it you know, it um, destroyed the, such peace as there was. Huh. The, the peace that was secured by the Assad regime, which is, as you know, routinely denounced here as monstrous. Hold on. Uh, there is a, there was a situation, there remains a situation in which um, there are rebel enclaves and these rebel enclaves are not peaceful. Of course not. No, they're being, they're being destroyed. And I mean, uh, it's a civil war. Look, it's a civil war. But yes. the, the rebel enclaves are just a, a minority of the population lives there. And the majority of uh, Syrians are living in relative peace under the Assad regime. And yes, that is preferable to um, bombing and to the crucifixions in the streets that we're seeing and to the murdering of citizens and the torturing and the imprisoning of random people, which is what they're doing.